I wanted to do this update today. This is about Mark Bradbury. I'm doing this update on Mark Bradbury because I'm quite frankly I'm tired of typing. I was I saw Mark today, and the, for those of you that don't know who Mark Bradbury is, Mark Bradbury is former author of the International Living Magazine. He's a prolific writer. He's written several books. Uh, He's been a, a resident of Montan, well, Ecuador for about going on eight years now. He's the found. Well, he, I was going to say he was the founder, but he's not really the founder. He took over a Facebook group called the uh, Montan Montebi uh, Expats and Amigos. Uh, it's a group, the Facebook group, of about seventy-five hundred members. I, uh, I, me, and uh, Mike. Uh, Monta and Mike are helping Mark manage the group now while he's uh, in the hospital. I normally type up updates and put them on the group page, but I just felt like I just felt like talking today. I saw Mark today; it's the first time I've seen him in two weeks. Uh, I was I'm I, I'm pleased to announce that I, it, it seems to me like he's making progress. Okay, and that that may not be a you may be thinking well is, wait a second hasn't he been in ICU for like 17 weeks and yeah right it's been 17 weeks and five days since Mark's been in ICU in those 17 weeks and five days I think he spent one night in a private room the rest of the time he's been in ICU I'm pleased to announce that today uh, I got to see Mark breathing on his own. He still has a trait, but the ventilator is not hooked up to it. He's breathing, I guess, through the tube, you know, that's sticking over here. But these, these, they've been getting him out of bed and putting him in a wheelchair. He's been giving them a little bit of trouble with that. He, uh, uh, the doctor told me this morning that over the weekend he developed a low-grade fever. And he's had that for a couple of days, but they believe they got that under control. So I was able to see Mark. I don't really have a whole lot to report as far as a change in his condition other than the fact that they're working feverishly to get him off that ventilator and get him to breathe on his own, get him out of that bed and into a wheelchair and get him outside and get him, you know, mobile and I told him I said as soon as you are at that point you know then we can start working on getting you home so that's I guess that's good news is uh, it's good news it's bad news that he's still there I've got I wish I could do something to uh, really you know pull out a miracle here and but you know Mark knows he's got a lot of support. He's got a lot of people standing behind him. And I, you know, I, I wouldn't say that he seemed like he's in great spirits, but he seemed like he wasn't as sad as he was when I saw him two weeks ago. So today, me, Mike, and Stella went and saw him. And all three of us got to visit with him for a few minutes. And I'm going to go see him again on Wednesday afternoon and hopefully I'll have some some more good news so for now I feel positive I feel good about what I saw I'm not happy that he's still in ICU that normally being in ICU this long is usually not a good thing doesn't have good results but let's keep our thumbs up and keep our fingers crossed and for those of you that are at face let's keep your prayers going for for him okay thank you so much i appreciate every and every one of you and i'll talk to you on the next one okay ciao ciao